Hi everyone, welcome to South Wayside Baptist Church's VBS in Casa, Concrete and Cranes. Our motto for the week is Jesus, our strong foundation. Did you enjoy the theme song? Today is day one of VBS. In our Zoom classes, we are going to hear a story about Jesus calling Matthew, a tax collector, to follow him. Matthew left everything behind and followed Jesus. John 15, 9 tells us, As the Father has loved me, I have also loved you. Remain in my love. So stand up out of your couch and dance along to our day one song, Remain in my love.
In today's video, we're going to meet two missionary kids in the Worthy family. Pay close attention as they tell us where they serve and how they're building relationships with the people where they live. And I'm Ben. We're missionary kids that live in Arezzo, Italy. Italy is an easy country to recognize because it's shaped like a high heel boot. This is my family, my mom and my dad, and my two big sisters, Emma and Micah, which are away at boarding school right now. And we love to tell people about Jesus. In fact, my big sister Micah got to go on a mission trip to Israel. And just recently, Emma got back from a mission trip to Uganda in Africa where she got to tell Africans about Jesus. Both trips sound like they were pretty amazing. And I just love to see how my sisters love to serve God. Marco, Polo, what do Marco Polo, Leonardo da Vinci, and Christopher Columbus all have in common? I don't know, they're all famous? No, they're Italian, of course. Italy is home to a lot of famous people and places in history. One of the most famous is this thing. A Torre di Pisa. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is actually a bell tower. It looks like it's about to fall over, doesn't it? The tower leans due to the fact of being built on a swamp. Non una buona fondazione. Jesus' love provides a strong foundation for our lives that will last. When life gets hard and you feel like you're starting to lean, remember that Jesus loves you. Here in Italy, before we tell people about Jesus, we like to build a good relationship with them first. Once we have a firm friendship, then they are open to hear more about Jesus. So we find lots of ways to make friends by hosting parties, putting on kids camps, coordinating volunteer groups, doing outreach events, fun activities, and oftentimes inviting Italian families over to our house to make a big meal. We love people and making new friends. It's so much fun. It reminds me of all the stories in the Bible of Jesus hanging out with people he loved and sharing a meal in hopes that they would believe in him. That's a powerful love, and that's the same reason we are here, to tell people that Jesus loves them and they can count on that love to be a firm foundation in their lives. Join us as we build on the love of Jesus here in Italy! Did you see the famous structure in the video? The Leaning Tower of Pisa leans because it is not built on a strong foundation. During VBS, we will be learning how Jesus is our strong foundation. And by building our lives on His love, we can be sure that He will carry on the good work He started in us. Each year in VBS missions, we learn about two missionary families. One family serves internationally, like the Worthy family, and one serves in North America. Last year, we learned about Jorge Santiago, a missionary who helped people who were impacted by the Hurricane Maria in Comerillo, Puerto Rico. This year, we will revisit Comerillo to see what has happened and how Jorge is continuing to serve there. is a small, colorful, friendly town in the middle of the small island of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is a small island in the middle of the Caribbean Sea. And three years ago, that small island was in the middle of a very big hurricane called Maria. We didn't know how hard Maria was going to be for Puerto Rico, but the hurricane was like this big and Puerto Rico was this big. It was really scary, really scary. After the storm, the people of Comerio and people all over Puerto Rico had no home, no electricity, no food, no water, and many of the people of Comerio started asking Jorge Santiago if he could help them. Jorge grew up in Comerio, but after he got in trouble, he moved away. While he was gone, he decided to follow Jesus and became a different person. Then, he moved back to Comerio. I start 
seeing the neighborhood and the people of my neighborhood, my people differently from all those time before, I saw that if they just had an experience with Jesus Christ, their life will be changed, their life will be transformed the way my life was transformed. Jorge moved back to Comodio because he thought the people here needed a church to tell them about Jesus. All of this may sound familiar because we told Jorge's story last year too. But so many good things have happened since last year that we had to tell you what else God has done. God was going to do something and open a door or a window for us to share the gospel with someone. What God did was use doors, windows, new roofs, and washing machines to meet the needs of the people of Comerio. Philippians 1.6 says, I am sure of this, that he who started a good work in you will carry it to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. Will you pray with me? Jesus, thank you for choosing us. Thank you for sending missionaries to tell people about you. We pray for those missionaries and for the boldness to tell others about you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, that's it for now. If you've registered for VBS on this page under the sign up button, your child's teacher will be contacting you with Zoom meeting information for your child's Bible study. Thanks for joining us today, and I'll see you next week. Bye.